Hello, my fellow parasites. Parasites? Apologize! No. Anyway, welcome to Season 4 of the Venom Vlog. This season we'll be covering Venom 2 movie news, more classic Venom and Carnage stories, the Spider-Man Maximum Venom animated series, and all comics involving Eugene Flash Thompson. So sit back and enjoy another exciting episode of The Venom Vlog. I'm Tom Hardy and you're watching The Venom Vlog. Oh man. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of The Venom Vlog. Today we are celebrating 2,000 subscribers and I thought I would do something really fun for you guys for episode 475. So that's what we're going to do today. So take a look here. These are the ingredients you're going to need and we're going to do some cooking today for the Symbiote Challenge. So the first thing we're going to need is definitely tater tots. I don't know how you guys want to make your own version. Obviously you can customize it any way you want. The goal though and the overall point of this is to eat the whole bag of tater tots. So the challenge isn't how hot it is or what type of uh, toppings you put on it. This is just the toppings I'm going to use. But the whole point of this, the challenge itself, is to eat the whole bag. So I'm adding some other stuff on it that you know Venom likes, for example, like chocolate syrup. Um, I don't know if he likes Alfredo sauce, but I figured I'd make some anti-venom tots. And then with the red hot sauce, we could do uh, some carnage tots uh, and then anything with chocolate on it is going to be the venom tots so we'll make like three different types of tater tots uh, obviously you're going to need some butter when you're cooking in the pan and then I thought about adding in some summer sausage just to add a little bit of meat to it because uh, I'm a carnivore and I eat meat so uh, let's start cooking first let's open up our bag of tater tots and let's get everything in here obviously you can buy any brand you want I just went to, I was trying to keep the cost low so you can actually buy you know most of the stuff I'm making this video with for under $12 so that's pretty good so we're gonna spread out here and we're gonna get you know we're gonna make our three different batches of tater tots we're gonna separate everything uh, you know kind of not equally perfectly equally but we'll just make like three little sections um, of tater tots and then we'll do like you know some of them will be carnage tots some of them will be venom tots and others will be an you know anti-venom tots with the alfredo so there we go we kind of got roughly our three sections there and that's kind of what we're going to work with so next up you want to follow the instructions on the bag it says uh, to preheat the oven at 425 so make sure you do that and then it says to maybe cook them for about 25 30 minutes so we're not going to do that completely we're going to put them in for about 15 minutes or so we're gonna let them toast a little bit and then we're gonna start adding some of the toppings on and bake those toppings into the actual uh, tater tots so yeah so, so remember when you put these in first don't put them in for the full length make sure you just put them in for about you know 15 minutes about half the length like 12 to 15 minutes So now that we have those cooking, we're going to go into the oven here and pull out our tater tots. They should be about halfway done at this point. And now we're going to coat them with our different toppings. All right, first up we'll do the anti-venom tots. We have classic creamy Alfredo. Um, I went to a place with a friend of mine named Charlie once and uh, we were like a wing place and they had tater tots there. And I think they did this, they made Alfredo on it. I can't remember if that's if that's true or not, if, if it was somewhere we went or if it was just something we did at home because uh, I used to live in a house with like, you know, five other people at one point when I lived out here in L.A. And we would, a lot of us would cook different things and we would make, uh, you know, some unhealthy things, some really healthy things, uh, stuff we saw on like, um, you know, <laughs> on, uh, you know, different YouTube channels of like people who cook and stuff and make like crazy things like candy sushi and things like that. So we did heart of tots one time and we basically just put Alfredo on a bunch of tater tots and then added different spices to it and it came out really good so I figured this time what we'll do is we'll make the heart of tots and since the alfredo is a little creamyish, a little whitish uh, we'll call them anti-venom tots and uh, these are really good if you if you bake alfredo onto uh, you know tater tots it actually tastes really good it's not g good for you uh, for sure the amount of calories just on this plate alone uh, could would probably kill a lot of people so you know uh, be careful and if you're if you're younger and you're doing this you know make sure you have a parent around uh, to keep an eye on you because uh, I mean I need I need an adult most times when I'm cooking because I forget to turn the stove off a lot um, you can ask my previous roommate that and he'll tell you it's a it's a scary thing to come home and know that the oven's been on all day so uh, so yeah I have I have some trouble with that so we're gonna make sure I set an alarm on my phone that reminds me to actually turn my uh, turn my you know oven off after I'm done cooking so uh, thank goodness for phones like that. So yeah, now we're just going to go through and get the hot sauce baked in to all of these ones in the middle. So these are going to be the carnage tots. Uh, so that's why we're going to just douse them in 
hot sauce. These ones are going to be, and you can choose whatever hot sauce you want. I mean, obviously I just went to the grocery store. I was originally going to do like a hot sauce challenge, you know, like hot ones, which I, it's a YouTube show I really love. Um, but I figured since I'm not really being interviewed or anything like that, and I just want to do something simple so that all of you guys could, you know, follow along at home. I figured, all right, we'll just go to the store and we'll just pick some hot sauce. My favorite hot sauce is Texas Pete, but, uh, red hot's pretty good too. All right, once we got, look at that. That is, those are going to be really hot, <laughs> those tater tots right there. Uh, Carnage would be very proud that uh, I will be in a lot of pain eating these uh, these tater tots in the middle there, uh, for sure. And the last ones, we're going to leave blank. We're, gonna, we're not going to put the chocolate on them because I think the chocolate will be a nice drizzle on top afterwards. I don't want to bake the chocolate in. Uh, I don't know how well that will taste. I don't even know how well it's going to taste when you just pour it on top. But those are going to be our dessert tater tots. So we're going to save those for the end, and we'll put some uh, chocolate on them at the end. All right, now we'll just put these tater tots back in the oven, and we'll keep them in there for like another you know, 10 to 15 minutes. They should be done. We'll let those bake on there, and then we'll mix this together, and we'll have ourselves a nice meal. So now we're going to arrange these guys on this plate over here. So we'll uh, start taking some of the carnage ones. <laughs> we'll start off there since they're so readily available to me. top of these we're going to start sprinkling our sausage <laughs> that we made the summer sausage I figure we'll include those here with these tater tots because the other one's going to be a dessert so we're going to keep this room over here open and we'll make our dessert pile here and last but not least our dessert hot fudge syrup on our <laughs> tater tots I have a feeling this one's going to be the one that tastes the most interesting. I've never done this before, and uh, <laughs> I know Venom is a big fan of chocolate and uh, tater tots, so I figured why not just mix them both and have our own dessert. All right, and here it is, <laughs> my plate of slop, uh, my symbiote food, if you will. I, if I sprinkled some lobster, maybe that's what I should do next time, is sprinkle some lobster on top of this. Uh, that might make it a complete symbiote meal. But either way, we gotta eat this whole thing in order to complete this challenge. So I'm not gonna waste any more time. I spent all my time cooking. Now it's time to eat. <laughs> stopping I'm going to keep going but I just have a little bit of uh, you know anti-venom tots left a little a few pieces of uh, sausage I was trying to I you know separate things so a couple of these things got into the chocolate and I was like yeah let's spread them out so that way it's only the chocolate ones that we're going to eat last um, but man yeah this uh, this last stretch is going to be tough oh man hmm I mean they're still delicious as far as bad food goes, you know, it's delicious. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Who? I might need a minute break here, actually. Um, 
All right, we got one third of the bag left. Holy God. All right, here we go. Mmm. Drink first. Oh my God. And I know some of you are like, hey, Seek, think about your health. You know, you're eating too much. You take a break. It's okay to stop. No, we hit 2,000 subscribers together, and I am not giving up. And I will definitely take a nap after this. Trust me, this is all like nap fuel right here. And I'm going to get plenty of rest after this. So don't worry about my health. I am definitely going to rest up after this. But uh, all right, here we go. We're going to find out what chocolate syrup all over tater tots taste like. Oh, man. Mmm. It's not bad. I wish I would have sprinkled sea salt on these tater tots instead of just regular salt because the sea salt and the chocolate might do a better blend. Uh, <laughs> but um, eh, it's not too bad. But I got a lot to eat, so <laughs> no more talking. Let's let's make room and let's go. God, I want to throw up. <laughs> I want to throw up. I don't have much left. Wow, that has a lot on it. Oh my goodness. Um, I only got a few left. Oh man. I'm gonna need to nap in between these last few here. Like, my goodness, it's taken me about uh, oh, like uh, almost 20 minutes to eat all this. Oh, more. I because I cut. Um, <coughs> so. Yeah, about almost 30 minutes, so let's see if we can get it and eat it all in less than 30 minutes. It took me about 30 minutes to cook it, less than 30 minutes, so it's a one hour challenge, I guess. We're cutting it close, so I bet I got like another two minutes left before 30 minutes, so. <laughs> I've got one left. Oh my God. I feel so gross right now. <laughs> oh. You know what? Don't do this at home. Don't worry about it. Just let me do it for the 2K subscribers. <laughs> Don't. None of you try this. Oh my God. I wouldn't wish this on anybody. I feel so gross right now. Oh, success. <laughs> oh, I have neighbors walking by laughing at me. <laughs> There's people outside like working on stuff in apartments around us. <laughs> and I had my door open the whole time because if it got smoky in here, I wanted it to air out and, oh my God, but now I'm I'm spent. Uh, that is a clean plate-ish. I mean, of course there's some uh, remnants there, but for the most part, an entire bag of tater tots, a third of them covered in Alfredo sauce, a third of them covered in hot sauce, and a third of them covered in chocolate syrup. Uh, and then also sprinkled on some summer sausage, uh, you know, on there, like I grilled on there. And uh, wow, yeah, even without the, like the sauce, it definitely made it harder. Uh, so, so maybe if you guys don't want to do that, I think next time, if I, if I ever do this again, um, maybe I'll do lobster, because like I said, that's a little bit more venom. I just didn't have a lot of time to prep all that kind of stuff, you know, today and make a lobster and everything, but um, maybe that's something to do later on when I have more time. But uh, you guys have been great. I, I very much appreciate the 2,000 subscribers. And I mean, I must because I put myself through this, uh, you know, for your entertainment. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I'm not going to go throw up because if I do, I lose a challenge. So I'm just going to go sit in my bed and cry and probably take a uh, 10 hour nap uh, because uh, this is this is brutal and my stomach is killing me. So. Thank you guys very much. I really do appreciate all the support and everything you do for me and this channel. It means a lot to me and we'll have more Venom content coming very, very soon. Thanks so much. See you all in the future. Peace.